Uh oh, okay, we got water coming in from here. Hold on, can we seal this? No, 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 seal this off. What the heck? Dude, we're already in full blown. Uh oh, no, no, it's filling up quick. I think the only plan is to get on this stupid thing and uh, run through here. Oh, no, 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 no. YouTube, Modal Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with some more sinking ship survival. So today's survival is actually going to be on a hospital ship. It's not the biggest ship, but I can guarantee you, it's got an epic sink, and it's really, really detailed. So this is the HMHS Canada. Uh, links are in the description if you want to download it. But yeah, uh, we need to go ahead and fire up the boilers and get moving here. Now, another thing is the whole fact that we are in the Arctic today, and that makes survival a whole lot tougher. So, if you guys are excited for some more sinking ship survival on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys think I'm going to live today, hit that thumbs up button. And if you think I'm going to die today, also hit that thumbs up button. All right, let's do this. All right, so this thing's ready to go. Let's go ahead and turn on the engine room lights. All right, so we need to light the boiler and get this thing fired up. So we'll go down here. All right, well, what are we dealing with here? Light boiler. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, that was a little louder than I thought it was going to be. All right, so wait. Are all these supposed to be going or I guess we're I guess we're good. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's get away from all this stuff down here because that was really, really loud and kind of made me jump. Not going to lie. And uh, we should be able to go back up to the wheelhouse. So yeah, Arctic survival is just a little bit tougher. I'm hoping they have some Arctic supplies here somewhere. There's got to be like a supply room uh, around here. Now, another thing that's kind of unique about this ship is the whole fact that the wheelhouse seems to be by itself. Like there's no interior that I can see to get to it. So in order to get to it, you have to go on the exterior and go up here to the top. So we'll go through here and boom, now we're in the wheelhouse. So, a little bit of a weird setup. Uh, the heaters do appear to be on. Uh, question of, is there any sort of supplies? There's got to be some somewheres. All right, we need to pull away from the dock here. Let's hopefully try to slowly get away from it. Oh, I don't want to scrape up against something. Uh, as you can see, the weather conditions today are pretty bad. I mean, it's the Arctic. I think they're always bad. Uh-oh. Okay, this is fine. This is the one bad thing about spawning at this dock is that if there's any bit of like wind you get slammed up against it And it's really hard to get away from it uh, th This is fine. Okay, it's starting to skid off to the left Come on. Oh, no, you've got to be kidding me. We already have damage All right. Well, there's a little bit of damage on here. It doesn't look like it's really below the water line So I, I think we're actually okay. This is actually quite fast this is a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. So we need to head out. We only know that the weather is going to get worse here. So uh, we need to clear out from these islands, though. Uh, let's look at a map real quick. All right. So if we clear out, we should get into open. Oh, dear. All right. I take that back. We are not getting out of the ocean. Holy man, that's a lot of islands. Okay. So as far as lifeboats, we have four. Eh, let's make it three lifeboats. This one's got some damage. Yeah, something's wrong with the uh, the crane over on that side. So we've got three working lifeboats. Uh, let's attempt to not lose any more. And, oh, geez. Uh, there's a big glacier iceberg to the left. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Okay, we barely avoided that one. All right, so we're going to back off a little bit on the telegraph here. We don't want to be moving too fast through here. Okay, so we do have an autopilot, but autopilots in the Arctic, <laughs> they don't get along. You wind up getting thrown into islands and stuff. But speaking of, we're already veering. Hans, turn a little to the left here. I've got a little bit of damage on the, uh, the tail here, but I think, yeah, it still moves and functions. So we're probably good. All right, so I'm going to attempt to get out and look around. All right, so we have our flare launchers here. Uh, there's our lifeboats. So, question is, where in the heck is the supply room? There's got to be something around here somewhere. Is maybe in here? Okay, this is the telegraph room. Uh, you know what we're going to do? Let's slow down real quick. I feel like we're just going to run into something doing this. So, let's go telegraph. Uh, let's go to a crawl here. That way, we still are making progress. All right, so let's go ahead and close this. And let's head out here and see if we can find some sort of supplies or something. 
All right, so here is the hospital part. Uh, I think it's two different floors here. So you got this, you got more hospital beds here. Uh, the engine room's located right in the middle here. And then we have another down portion here. Is this more beds or what is this? Oh, geez, we are listing really bad right now. Uh, I think the weather's getting a little bit worse. Okay, so we have more down here. These are just the lights. We don't really need those on. Uh, oh, what? What the heck is happening right now? What the? Huh? Why are we, wait, why are we capsizing? Hold on, photo mode, what is going on? So I don't wonder if the damage that we sustained somehow caused this because yeah, we're not even in heavy winds. I mean, I would say they're probably like 20 or 30% and we just capsized. Uh, uh, okay, we're going full Poseidon adventure. Okay, that was the quickest I've had something go over. Uh, by the way, here's the cabin, here's storage. Is this where the supplies is? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, anchor room's flooding. Um, Folks, I think the survival just started a little bit early on us. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh, uh okay, we got water coming in from here. Hold on, can we seal this? No, 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 seal this off. What the heck? Dude, we're already in full blown. Uh oh, no, no, it's filling up quick. No, 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 you gotta be kidding me. Um, go, 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 go. Where's the stairs at? Where are the stairs? Okay. Uh, no, they're on this side, aren't they? Uh, oh, there they are. Hold on, if we go further up. Oh, we gotta get clear. Open the doors, open the doors, open the doors. Oh, <laughs> what? What just happened? Uh, I think we're gonna get two sinks today, folks. Um, is it the damage? What do you guys think happened there? I don't think it's the ship itself. I mean, this isn't high waves. It can go a lot higher here in the Arctic, but it must have been that damage we sustained while grinding against the dock. Yeah, this thing just went right over. Uh, we almost died there, too, because the water filled up so fast. I can already show you guys. I think this is for the scuttle mode, and that was not on. Like, it's completely closed. So, that was weird. Can I open this from up here? No, I can't. Okay, folks, that deserves a good old reset. Let's go ahead and reset the sink. All right, so we're fired back up. We're ready to go once again. Let's give this a fair shake and try to get it out beyond the dock because something caused this thing to sink. And yeah, that was uh, that was exciting. Like, it happened immediately. Hopefully, you guys want two sinks today. Also, the whole fact that this is a hospital ship, so I could set in the bed, but I think they have medic packs up towards the top, so we'll probably just take one of those. Do I have one on me? No, I don't. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna pull away once again. This time we are in completely calm waters. Uh, it was set to 35% last time. So I can imagine what 100% would be like for this, but yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and roll away. All right. I have it turned all the way to the left here. Don't catch, don't catch. Okay, go forward a little bit. Forward, forward, forward. And then I can't cut yet. Look at that. Komodo, the master uh, boat pilot. Uh, Captain thingy ma bob that all right. We are away here. So I think I mean we've already seen a uh, kind of tough waters I think for this uh, second sink Let's kind of keep it a little bit more on the calm side because the boat does have some really cool scuttle features All right, so the weather's deteriorated. We're having problems navigating right now You pretty much don't see any of the uh, the ice until you get right on it like we're gonna shift that one off I don't really think this uh, ice that's loose damages the boats much. <laughs> it's of course the ice that's a lot more static and doesn't move is the stuff you gotta watch for. Is that an iceberg over there? I think it is. Okay, we're clear right now. Holy man. Also, uh, the ship lags a little bit with some of the lights on, so I'm gonna go and back a couple of these off. That way it's not as intense. Alright, let's uh, go find ourselves... Uh, a medic kit real quick because yeah, that's gonna be kind of essential here All right here. Let's go down to the bottom All right medic kit medic kit. I don't want to set it one of the beds uh, uh, What the heck? Uh, what the okay, we just had an explosion. Um, I think one of the boilers might have just exploded Should we look down? Oh, oh wait, wait we're dying uh, okay, look around. There's got to be actual medic kits, right? I don't want to set it to bed. All right, if we set it to bed for a second, 
How long does this take to heal us? Uh, it's healing us, but the boat is... Oh. The boat's big time on fire. What? Wait, is it just down in the engine room? Oh, I'm trying to see it. Oh, yes. Okay, so the engines are on fire. I actually don't think this is a part of the sink. And oh, we just hit a big uh, iceberg. Uh, that's not going to help our situation. All right, come on. Heal up. Okay, we're healed enough. Okay, we got to take off running again. Let's see. Where do we go? Let's go ahead and seal up. And here, let's seal back here. Wow, I'm getting hurt every time I pass by the middle portion of the ship. All right, here. Let's go out here. Okay, close this. Okay, let's seal this up. All right. Uh, let's see. We are currently on fire. There's only a little island we can jump on. Hold on. Look for mainland. Wait. Is that a... Hold on. Wait for it to pass back by. That might be a lighthouse over there. I could have swore I just saw some light. See, there it is. Okay, we have an out here. I don't think the ship's actually going down. I know this thing has a, a setting for boiler explosions. Let's go ahead and uh, shoot out a couple of distress signals real quick. You know, that would be the ultimate feature. Like, I know how we're getting some AI here in Stormworks as far as AI, AI planes and, like, AI boats. Even though I haven't seen any out here in the Arctic, that might not be a thing. But if we could get, like, a rescue thing where we can get at least a, a chopper out to come pick us up, that would be really cool. All right, so let's go signal lamps. Oh, I think that's for, like, Morse code or something. Uh, we're beyond that, folks. Okay, so ship is ablaze. Hold on, let's, uh, can we check the side here? Oh, that looks really bad. All right, so the boiler explosions happened. Uh, okay, look for supplies here. If we're going to somehow make it off the ship. Oh, yeah, down towards the bottom. Uh, we're also listing again. Wait, uh, is there any sort of firefighting supplies here? Okay, we got to run across this thing. I'm trying not to get hurt because we're going to need to definitely uh, somehow get off the ship. Wait, do these lifeboats drive or do they just float? Sometimes they actually put little motors on it. Or they literally just float. Uh, so that doesn't seem like a very good option, does it? Uh, let's see if we can try to maneuver over here. And oh, holy man. Okay, we got to get down to the storage. Uh, it's kind of hot down here. Okay, duck. Oh, it's so bright. Okay, uh, I think a part of that might be the flares. I uh, apologize if it's too bright for you guys. Let's see. Restroom, restroom. No, 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 no. We're looking for... Oh, is it on the other side? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, we've got to walk through that in order to get to the other side where those other storerooms were. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is kind of hot. <laughs> Holy man, that was cool. Okay, crew quarters, engine. No, we don't go into the engine room. Uh, a little too bright down there. What the heck? Do we have no supply storage? Anything in storage? Uh, no. All right. Uh, we got to think of an escape plan here. I think the only plan is to get on this stupid thing and uh, run through here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to have to deploy, I think, lifeboats. It hasn't gone down yet, so we've got a bit of time. All right. We're running back to the other side. We're about to deploy lifeboats. I kind of wish there was some sort of supplies on here, but there actually really isn't. Uh, there's not much to go off of. Uh, it wouldn't fire back up, would it? Uh, also, this thing's starting to lag a lot with all that fire. Okay, we're out of options here. Let's go ahead and let's deploy the davit. Come on. Uh, wait, raise, disconnect, deck anchors. Okay. Oh, geez. Uh, could you imagine if somebody was actually on that? Okay, let's go lower light boat. Okay. Yeah, the game's actually starting to freeze up every couple seconds because of the amount of fire. We're about to go into photo mode and see exactly what it looks like. I imagine it doesn't look good at all. Okay. Release. Please tell me it didn't flip over. Okay, it's coming up. Oh, it's right in the fire. Uh, maybe this side. This side's probably a little bit better. Uh, so please don't crash game. Okay, let's go disconnect from the deck. Uh, I know my game's wanting to crash. Actually, it would be good if this thing went down and uh, actually the fire was extinguished. Okay, let's raise. Let's go lower lifeboat. Okay, it's out all the way. Let's wait till we touch the water here. Uh, look around. Okay, that lifeboat, or actually the lighthouse is right there. Like, I don't think this is a hopeless situation. Uh, there's a lot of times where we do it, and it's like, oh, we're dead. Okay, release that. Question is, can we... Oh, look at that. You got damage on the deck. Oh, this thing is burning apart. Uh, oh! Oh, no! Okay, that was not wise. Okay, uh, plan B. Dude, look at the amount of fire. That's why it's lagging so bad. <laughs> 
Okay. Plan B is to get on top of this. I could probably heat myself up with the boat. Oh, what the heck? What the? Wait, what? Why am I dying? Uh, I lost some health there. Did I hit the flare? Was that? Wait, is there a shark? No. Okay, there isn't a shark. All right, wait for the water or the ice to go down. I should be able to jump up on top of it. Nope, don't get stuck under it. We don't want to drown here. I'm already freezing. Uh, this is fine. Oh, the boat's going down. Okay, we're good. All right, so that's what the boat looks like. That looks so cool. Man, I can't get over those boiler explosions. I just wish Stormworks can handle something of this size being on fire because obviously you can see what's happening here. All right, I had to clear the weather up real quick. I'm curious where we are. Okay, so there's a big island just right there. Wait, what is, what is that? Is that the top of the lighthouse over there? There's something over there. And, oh, this is what it looked like, folks. It's going down. It's pretty slow to sink, but I think a combination of the fire and the sinking itself is finally taking its toll. Guys, look how incredible this looks. Uh, that thing is fully engulfed from like the middle to the back. Like it is a fireball. There's no way you could even stand on that and survive at all without getting burned. Uh, also the front's going down a little bit more. That's cool looking. I don't think I've quite seen one that engulfed in flames. I think last time it happened, it was, uh, it, it actually crashed, I think. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for that, but give you guys just a really good view of it here. That is cool looking. You know, maybe the game will stop freezing once this thing goes under and it kind of extinguishes itself. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, I love the, the dynamic fire. Just kind of wish we would get a little bit more uh, optimizations with it. But could you imagine something like the Titanic catching on fire like that? Like a one-to-one -one scale one in the game? Oh, dear. Uh, that would be an instant game crasher. But yeah, you can see it going under. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, this would have been a... Oh, look at that. A little puff of black smoke out there. That's dramatic looking. Oh, it's accelerating now. And there it goes. It's still kind of on fire. Uh, there it goes. I'm seeing some of the flames getting extinguished. Uh, I would assume they're all going to go out here in a second. That's crazy. Oh, you heard it hit the bottom of the ocean there. Hey! It helped the uh, lag a little bit, and now you're getting the lag of the, the ship resting at the bottom there. Uh, Han, let's go and go into photo mode. Let's go down and look at it real quick. Wait, how is it still engulfed in flames? I'm a little confused here, Stormworks. This is kind of strange, but there it is. It is down. Oh, we can kind of look inside of it. Oh, it has charred the inside completely. Look at that. Wait, there's still an air pocket down in the uh, engine room. Right towards the top, right here. Look at that. That's so cool. So if this wasn't on fire, you could totally be down in this right now and somewhat alive until I guess that air pocket goes away. Uh, oh man. And then yeah, I would say we survived this. It was a, a fairly easy one. The first little unexpected uh, rollover there, that was the, uh, the worst part about the survival. Like we almost didn't make it out of that one. But uh, yeah, this was a pretty easy one since it is a smaller ship, uh, nothing too unexpected, but it was worth it for the fire alone because that was cool. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed that, be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more Sinking Ship Survival, and we'll see you next time.